Uh, peace talks between Russia and Ukraine in Istanbul show signs of progress. Moscow has promised to scale down its military operations following, quote, meaningful talks. Ukraine for the first time outlining potential concessions on territories held by Russia. The Russian Deputy Defense Minister says that the talks on the preparation of the agreement on the neutrality and non-nuclear status of Ukraine have moved into a practical field. Alexander Fomin added that his country would now radically reduce military activity near Kiev and the northern city of Cherniev. Russia's chief negotiator also says that Moscow is prepared to accelerate the timeline of a possible meeting between President Vladimir Putin and his Ukrainian counterpart, Volodymyr Zelensky. Ukraine also proposed adopting a neutral status in exchange for security guarantees. The proposals would also include a 15-year consultation period on the status of Crimea. Well, first of all, thanks for having me. This is certainly a significant development. It seems that oh, the, there is broad agreement being reached, and it's now about the details and the practical steps taken to adopt these agreements and to uh, manifest them in actions on the ground. Russia's decision to scale back its operations around Kiev and Chernyiv is also significant. We can only speculate if the two developments are linked. It seems likely that they are. And Russia has now changed its military objectives, it seems. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's no longer looking to try and invest Kiev, and it's looking to just maintain that land bridge from Crimea through uh, Kherson and also Mariupol, and also to secure the Donbass, the Russian-speaking areas of that part of the world. So it's a significant development. It's very sad that it's taken a month of bloody war with all the deaths and the suffering that's being uh, inflicted to get to this point. We could have got to the, we should have started at this point and this war would have been averted. But Mr. Uh, Kalensky is, I think, a foolhardy leader. I think he's been pushed by the West. This has been a proxy war. Ukraine has been used as a battleground between East and West when its development and its future was always contingent on it being a bridge.